the art of Bill Cosby. McCarthy called Trump slash what did Trump said. Tristan threatens death to Lamar on Instagram hashtag Kardashian. These are all topic ideas for this particular channel that an AI robot says I should make. I would have great success making any of those videos. Unfortunately, most of those titles are complete nonsense, and to the extent they're not nonsense, I'm not going to be making any of those videos. That being said, I think it's worthwhile going through some of these titles because A, they're hilarious, and B, some of them actually aren't that bad. For background purposes, I subscribe to a YouTube tool called vidIQ. It's pretty good, I like it, and it just has a new feature and this is not sponsored, where they come up with ideas for my channel using AI technology. Now, my friend Tom Scott did a whole video about using the AI technology GPT-3 to come up with topic ideas for his channel. And he even did a follow-up where he used that technology with a bunch of other YouTubers. He didn't ask me to be in that video and I'm definitely not upset about that. But now that I think I have access to probably the same technology, let's use it on the channel and take a look at the videos that the AI robots say I should make. Now, I'm not gonna be making any of these videos, so if you are a YouTube lawyer who is looking for ideas, please take these ideas. I'd love to see them. I'm looking at you, Richard Hogue, Eve Cornwell, and Attorney Tom. Please use any of these ideas. I think it'd be hilarious. So let me explain why I'm not going to make any of these videos. The first topic is Donald Trump and the GOP. I mean, that one's just too obvious, right? I mean, Donald Trump is the GOP. And frankly, on this channel, I try not to do overtly political content unless there is some legal angle to it. So uh, I don't think there's a legal angle there. President Trump versus Kamala Harris. Uh, that'd be interesting. I think everyone would like to see that cage match, but there's no real legal issue there. All of the talk of the 25th Amendment is now over. So I don't think there's any reason for Legal Eagle to do a President Trump versus Kamala Harris video. And then we have Afghanistan, comma, Trump versus social media, comma, Shakari Richardson. Uh, man, that could be a really interesting video putting Afghanistan and Trump on one side and social media and Shakari Richardson on the other. If you don't know, Shakari Richardson is the female US athlete. She's a runner. She was, I think, disqualified from the Olympics because she tested positive for marijuana. Ah, uh, boy, I, I could probably come up with some legal angle. I mean, obviously in, in this tag team match, you have Trump versus social media. So it's all about section 230, but then Afghanistan and Shakari Richardson, I don't see any reason why they would be at odds with each other. So this one probably doesn't work. Then we have, a, frankly, a fantastic idea for a video. It has only one problem. Let's see if you can figure out what that is. And the topic idea is Bill Cosby gets the chair. The problem is uh, there's no universe in which Bill Cosby is going to get the chair. He was released from prison. Um, you know how I would do, here's, <laughs> if I did it, here's how I would do it. I would do an alternate universe where I would explain how all of the laws would need to be different in order for Bill Cosby to actually get the chair. That's how I would do that video. That could be really interesting. Yeah, I'll have to think about that one. Then we have actually another great idea for a video, part two, Britney Spears documentary. This is great because I don't even have to make part one. I just go straight to part two. Part one's gonna be boring anyway. It's really part two of the Britney Spears documentary that it really gets good. So that's a great idea. Uh, I just don't really have time to do an entire documentary about Britney Spears. But I do like the idea of just completely skipping over part one and going straight to part two. Donald Trump, racist in chief. I mean, there's no, there's no legal video there. Uh, it's also a little too on the nose, I think. And like it or not, simply saying racist things isn't illegal. I mean, I guess you could, you could do a survey of the laws that Donald Trump wanted to pass or the executive orders that he passed and you could make a judgment call on that. But you know, frankly, I think we're all a little tired of talking about the former guy at this point. So then we have Shakari Richardson denied participation in the Olympics and Shakari Richardson is out of the Olympics. Both great topics, no real legal issue there. If the Olympic committee wants to make a law about precluding people who have tested positive for marijuana from participating in the Olympics, they can make that rule. It's not an American law. Nothing really for, for me to talk about there. Yes, marijuana laws in general are stupid. That's not my 
perspective as a lawyer, that's just my perspective as a human being with a heart, which often is at odds with my perspective as a lawyer who, you know, is not allowed professionally to have a heart. But I don't think there's really anything there for, for me to talk about on this channel, at least. Someone should make that video though. Bill Cosby needs to be in jail, rant video. Eh, you, you know, frankly, I see the reasons why Bill Cosby is not in jail anymore. There are reasonable Fifth Amendment arguments for why he was let out of jail. A lot of people disagree with me. My friends over at Opening Arguments think that Bill Cosby should be in jail. And if they had more of a presence on YouTube, they could totally make that Bill Cosby should be in jail rant video. They absolutely should, but they're happy just to do a podcast. So, you know, take that, Andrew. And then we have a video that I kind of already did. Britney Spears speaks out in court, asks to end conservatorship. I did an entire video on the Britney Spears conservatorship. I will probably do another video when the conservatorship issue reaches ahead. In fact, there was a big news article that she was able to finally hire her own attorney of her choice. That's big news. And this whole saga is pretty interesting from a legal perspective. I think my title is better than theirs, but reasonable minds can differ and reasonable robots can differ too. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this one I'd have a hard time making. Bill Cosby is innocent, part two. Now putting aside <laughs> that I'd have to make a part one on that. Uh, just because Bill Cosby was released from jail does not by any means make him innocent in any way whatsoever. In fact, the overwhelming uh, evidence is that he was guilty of the crimes at issue. But look, the criminal justice system is about protecting our rights as much as it is punishing the people who offend and uh, commit these crimes. I'm not gonna make that video about uh, Bill Cosby being innocent. I'm sure there are some other people out there that could. It's not for me. And speaking of which, uh, Donald Trump is not racist. Again, you know, this channel is about presenting both sides and presenting facts as facts when they're sort of ob objectively correct. Um, that being said, I'd have a hard time making that argument. I'd, uh, I'm not saying I can't. <laughs> I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just not sure that I wanna spend a whole lot of time and effort trying to make that argument. So here's an interesting one. NYC journalists arrested for filming the arrest of protesters. Uh, I can't remember the last time a New York City journalist was arrested filming the protesters. Uh, it definitely happened a bunch this summer. Uh, it'll happen again. Um, so maybe I'll keep that in my back pocket for <laughs> the next time it happens, because it's, it's gonna happen again. <laughs> again with Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby gives his kids alcohol. I mean, poor Theo. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure that there's much of a legal issue there. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> let's not, let's not do that. And speaking of which, the memes that freed Bill Cosby. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly those memes are. Uh, I probably could find some Fifth Amendment memes and I could use those memes to explain why Bill Cosby went free. That's a great idea for a video. <laughs> yeah, I don't think in general memes played a big part in the uh, vacating of, of Bill Cosby's sentence. Hashtag the group chat, Shakari Richardson, Bill Cosby, Tabitha Brown versus Wendy Williams and Rachel Nichols. I, I don't even know what to do with that. That doesn't make any sense. Then this one comes out of left field. Steven Jackson defends Rachel Nichols. Did he? I don't even, is that, is that true? I'm not even sure to be honest. I will not be touching that one with a 10 foot pole. And then one last Bill Cosby idea, the Bill Cosby fun game bill, paren Cosby released from prison. I don't even wanna think about what the Bill Cosby game would be. I just know I don't want to play it. And then finally we have uh, a, a topic that I will not be making on this channel, talking about controversial trans topics. <sighs> yeah, I suppose I could have my friend, uh, Harry Brewis from H Bomber Guy come on the channel and we could have a discussion about the legal implications uh, of all of the different things surrounding those topics. But I really don't think the comment section is going to be particularly civil in a video entitled talking about controversial trans topics. 
I'm gonna have to workshop that one just a little bit. Yeah, so maybe Skynet isn't as close to fruition as we thought, and the AI robot uprising is not right around the corner. But if robots do start invading, you'll need to call the authorities. And you can save money on that call by switching to today's sponsor, Ting Mobile. I personally switched to Ting Mobile and saved literally hundreds of dollars a month. And I'm not kidding, why? Because of this. Yes, this is a real cell phone bill that I got with my previous provider, and it's why I personally switched to Ting. And Ting Mobile has three brand new plans to make sure this never happens again. All of Ting's plans have unlimited talk and text starting at just $10 per month. Add data for as little as $5 per gigabyte, choose a set of data, or get a full unlimited plan for only $45 a month. You can run as many AI simulations as you want, though this video will show you that the AI simulations are probably not worth all that much. But switching plans is actually really easy because you can keep your same phone number and use pretty much any phone. And the service is great too because Ting partners with several massive networks, probably the very same one that you're using right now, but at a huge discount. They literally use the exact same infrastructure. Now, actually, I can't tell you which ones because I always respect contracts and non-disclosure agreements, but let's just say that my service hasn't changed at all. And if you're around Wi-Fi all the time, like you're working from home, you have the flexibility to save hundreds of dollars using uh, Ting's Flex Plan like you always have, or now you just have the possibility of an unlimited version as well. So if you want unlimited, you can go absolutely crazy. And it's incredibly easy to transfer service. You just simply order a Ting SIM card, pop it in, and set it up. No phone calls required. It's like magic. But if you do want to talk to Ting, you can call them up and immediately talk to a real human being or use chat or Discord. You'll talk to a real human, not an AI robot, with virtually no wait times. So so if you would like to give Ting a try, Legal Eagles will get a $25 service credit that could cover two months of service. All you have to do is just click on the link below and give it a try. Or you can use your last bill to compare just how much you would save. Just click on that link below. Plus, it really helps out this channel. And while you're at it, check out this playlist with all of my legal meme reviews and lawyer jokes. So remember, click on this playlist or I'll see you in court.